Hello, BOSC 2024. My name is David Steinberg, and I will be presenting on DocStore, Enhancing Cloud Interoperability and Usability in Bioinformatics. This brief presentation was prepared for the BOSC 2024 poster session. In it, I will give you some background on what DocStore is, talk about some of the existing features which have been presented at previous BOSC sessions, and then I'll talk about some of the new features that we've been working on since. DocStore is a joint collaboration between the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research and the UC Santa Cruz Genomics Institute. It aims to be an app store for bioinformatics by combining the technologies of workflow descriptor languages with container technologies like Docker and Singularity. DocStore provides a free and open source platform for sharing reusable and scalable workflows and tools. It's available under an open source license and currently accessible at docstore.org. So please feel free to log on to docstore.org and take it for a spin while I'm presenting. You can use it to find and share workflows of the common workflow language, workflow descriptor language, Galaxy and Nextflow varieties. And we use something called the FAIR methodology, which is we aim to make research findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable by others. Our current version is 1.15.3. DocStore is fairly widely used. It has public API access and over 100 stars on GitHub. We're currently hosting more than 2,500 workflows and the breakdown by language can be seen in the upper right here. We've been cited over 100 times in the literature and mentioned many more times. So now that I've given you a little background on what DocStore is, I'd like to go into some of the integrations and key features which make it easy to create, share, and use workflows. First and foremost, we integrate with source control repositories. So if you make changes in your underlying source control repository, be it GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket, then those changes will be reflected within docstore.org more or less automatically. Things like releases, versions, and tags will also show up so that researchers can find and use the exact version of a workflow that they're looking for. In addition to supporting a variety of source control repositories, we also have flexible support for container registries. So whether your Docker containers are on Docker Hub, Quay, or Amazon ECR, they'll be usable within DocStore. We also hope to make workflows easily findable by integrating with the digital object identifier service Zenodo. This makes it so your workflow will receive a DOI. If you are already familiar with DOIs from having published papers, you know that they're crucial for getting back to a specific version of scientific work that has been done. You can now have your workflows be directly cited using Zenodo and DocStore. In addition, we integrate with ORCID, or the Open Researcher and Collaborator Identifier, so that authors of workflows can be identified across institutions. If you link your ORCID ID with your DocStore account, then your ORCID works page will reflect any workflows which you've published on DocStore, making your work more easily findable. We also hope to make workflows more easily findable by using organizations and collections. Organizations are a feature that allow facilities like labs or academic institutions to have a dedicated page on DocStore to curate their work. Currently, over 60 organizations have signed up, some public groups like the Galaxy Intergalactic Workflow Commission, Human Pangenome Reference Consortium, and ENCODE Project are all present, as well as private labs like PacBio and Theogen Genomics. Organization members can curate their workflows into collections so that workflows of a certain type or to a certain use case can all be displayed with documentation on a workflow collection. Once you've found a workflow that you want to use, you can use DocStore to launch that workflow into any one of our cloud launch with partners. This feature allows you to import workflows from DocStore to workspaces within services like Terra, Galaxy, or DNA Stack. And this system uses the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health Tool Registry Service API to be as interoperable as possible. To date, over 12,000 workflows have been launched this way. I'd now like to talk to you about some of the new features which we've been working on since our last time at VOSC. To start with, Jupyter Notebooks have been integrated in the Docs Store. If you're not familiar, Jupyter Notebooks are a way to put code, documentation, and figure generation all into a single document and are very powerful for analysis. 
Doxter allows you to preview the contents of notebooks, as well as adopting many of the features which we provide for workflows, like tracking versions, receiving a digital object identifier, or launching with to platforms like Google Colab, GitHub Codespaces, or MyBinder.org. We've also added a much requested feature for execution metrics. It can be difficult to tell how long a workflow will take to run or what its resource usage might be. Using execution metrics, execution platforms can present this information back to DocStore and will be shown within the DocStore user interface. This makes it easier for researchers looking for a workflow to estimate the cost and time associated with using a given workflow. We've also added a feature for user profiles. So now all DocStore users are provided with a unique URL for their name, where you can see things like their linked accounts, as you can see my GitHub account and Orchid account are visible here, as well as any public activity that is done across the site. Now we also know that workflows are not necessarily maintained forever. So we've added a feature to archive workflows, which is a way for researchers to show to others that a given workflow will not be updated. However, the code is still available if they would like to replicate their work. So that's it for the new features I'd like to highlight. I'll mention very quickly some future developments. We're going to simplify DOI creation even further. We'd like to improve the visualization of execution metrics, and we're also experimenting with generating documentation for your workflows using AI. Here are our references. Please check out our paper. Big thanks to the team and to the BOSC team for making this possible. Please uh, reach out to me if you have any questions at davidcs at ucsc.edu or visit our discussion forum, discuss.docstore.org, and check out docstore.org today. Thank you very much.